Hi, so today we're here to talk about water and the benefits of water play and how we can have water in our home to entertain our children. Um, there are lots and lots of benefits to water play. It's a very sensory, calming experience. It gives lots of opportunity to explore on different levels. It's great for our fine motor skills with lots of squeezing and pinching. And it can be a great opportunity to have some creative and imaginary play. A key thing to remember is that water play is amazing for all levels. All developmental levels of children can access water play in some way. And we'll have a little look at that today as to how we can um, approach water in different ways. Uh, we've got examples of different things to use. So today we're just using a big storage tub, an empty storage tub at home. You can, if you've got one of these free, great. If not, little clean cat litter trays, um, washing up bowls, buckets, things that you use for baking. It doesn't have to be quite as big as ours. And then underneath what we'd recommend is just a towel, really, any old towel. Water can be used inside and outside. But just please be careful of slips and trips because obviously it can get quite messy and also just supervise the children at all times, particularly with water. Um, what we would say is we wouldn't really promote having all these things out at the same time. It offers really a bit of an opportunity for sensory overload. Try with one item, maybe two items at a time and we'll try and extend it that way. You can always add a few more items once they're a little bit used to water it hasn't got to just be a one-time experience so yeah just strip it right back um and speaking of that how we'd explore the words of water first would be with nothing in it at all we can flick the water we can sprinkle the water we can just squeeze the water you can look at different temperatures of water so maybe have it quite cold and have you ice cubes or have it quite warm and see which one your child prefers stick with that just as we say, always follow your child's lead. If you find that actually they prefer the warmer water, then that's absolutely fine. Or if they're really attracted to the feeling of the ice cold water, just be mindful of how much time you're spending in that so their fingers don't get too sore. Next, we look at adding different things. So these, we're trying to um, give you examples of things that we just find at home. You don't need to go and buy anything. Hopefully these are all things that we have around. So sponges and little scourers. These are great if you can get to, if you're lifting and trying to just gain their attention, just squeeze and pause and see what they do. Will they copy? Will they flick the water at you? Because we like to explore the feel of the sponge once it's been in the water. Will they press it down and make lots of bubbles? And just follow their lead. Take your time, see what they do first and follow that. We've got little balls, so balls from play pits or little ping pong balls. Watching them splash in. We've got balls with a few holes in, like Pac-Toy type balls. And then the extension of that really would be filling and pouring. So add in a few more containers. We've got lots of jugs, cups, egg poachers, any old container at home. Recycling is absolutely great. Your plastic recycling, just little tubs. And then these are great for containing. So you can add them to your water and add a little bit more. So it takes it to the next level. So in, will they then pour that into a smaller container? And we want to drip, drip, drip. And again, any old storage boxes like that are absolutely brilliant. And then leading on to that, we've got a little bit of a contraption. So these are just old fruit and vegetable punnets out of the recycling. And what we thought would be a nice idea is to add some food colouring. So we've made some sensory bottles just out of our old recycling. These are just plain water with food colouring and glittering. So again, really sensory, really calming activities for the children. But when we add them to the container, it can be quite nice just to pour it in and watch it bubble. And because we've added the food colouring, hopefully your child will see the colour that little bit more and be able to watch it drip through. And if you do a big bottle, you can just keep going and going. Great things are also our little pipettes or big pipettes if you can get hold of them, as well as the bottles for pouring. So they were really all things that we've got at home. And then we were looking at what else can we have that your child might have, may or may not have at home, but the typical sort of bath toys or plasticky toys. So rings, stacky good old stacky rings, they're really nice little floaters. So can we, can we push that across? 
Can we have a chat about the colour? Can we have a chat about the texture? Stipple bricks or big duplo blocks, shiny blocks, foam blocks, anything you've got at home that you don't mind getting wet. Are we looking at how it goes? Can we pretend that it's a bow? And just try and extend it. Let them lead you. See what they want to do first and then try and extend it. Bubbles, always a great water activity. So we've got this one here, you've got your little tubes of bubbles. Lots of children, lots and lots of children have stacking cups at home. And if you look, not all of them, but quite a lot of holes in them already. So again, that's a lovely little extension to watch you drip through. And they tend to have different levels of holes as well. So you've got a more calming or a more intense sort of drip through. And just play around, see what your child's like. Does it prefer that one? Does it not? And go with them. We've got fishing nets, or if you haven't got a fishing net, a sieve at home is really good as well. So you're adding little bits in, you've got some little plastic fish, can we fish them out? Can we take turns? Can we chat about the colour and the shape of the fish? Little fishing rods, some children have those at home, either for the bath or the garden toys. And a lovely little sensory toy is the water wheel. So you can get small and big ones of these. These are really, really calming. Children tend to be quite interested before you stop and before you will travel their finger underneath to see if that happens, see what they play. Can we get siblings involved? Can we take turns? Really, really lovely little activity. And then if your child's a little bit more interested, do they want to see what sinks and what floats? So egg, just everyday household objects. Can we guess? Can we choose? Can we watch? Get them to find little bits around the home, see if they can find things that will maybe sink or float that are appropriate. And then any children that are moving on to their symbolic play, pretend play. Have they got little dollies at home? Have they got things that they don't mind getting wet? Can we put the dolly in the water? Can we bath dolly? Can we use the sponge? Oh, how nice is that dolly? Nice and warm. And then not just that, can we wash our clothes? Can we wash our clothes with dolly? Wash, wash, can we squeeze the water out? Can we give it a good scrub? There's loads and loads of different things that we could do. And then also, we've got here a lovely little car wrap. So just adding sort of the next level. So especially if they do like their cars and their transport, we can hopefully, if you don't want it getting wet and they're just it, drop it down. Does it sink? Does it float? Waiting for the anticipation. Ready, steady, go. It's like, loads of different things down, see what happens, which one gets down there quicker. And then, stripping it right back to water again, and if you really want to have some fun, you get a little bit foamy, you can always add just general washing up liquid that you've got at home. Hopefully a whisk if you've got one. And you just can whisk it, 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 whisk Big containers, good old whisks. We've got lots and lots of bubbles in there. So they can explore the bubbles on their own turn. Food colouring is lovely with bubbles. You might choose to add food colouring at this point, just to add like the colour element to it, or even little bits of glitter that you've got at home, just so it adds to it if you finish, if you're not gonna add anything else to it. Or you could have little um, cup silicon cupcake cases, or these are just little tiny gardening pots. And from Presto, We've got, hopefully, a little ice cream shop or a cake shop. So these are just all the different ways that we can hopefully access water in our home. We know that you haven't got everything maybe that we've got here, but hopefully there are a few bits and pieces. And always just remember, please let your child lead you in the play. Thank you very much. Bye.